Marvel Netflix shows have given us at least seven main characters, seven main heroes, let's just say that. And today, I thought it would be interesting to rank them all from the worst to the best. So the characters that I'm going to be ranking today are Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, as in the Danny Rand Iron Fist, Colleen Wing Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Punisher, and Elektra? Let me know down below if you think Elektra is a villain or a hero. Uh, I'm also going to be putting her in my villains ranking list, which is going to debut next week. But with that in mind, let's get started. Last place is going to be Elektra. She, she just doesn't work for me. She's she's not a main villain. She's someone that I don't want to see. She's someone that I feel like, yep, she got collapsed by a building. We've seen her so many times. She got her own spin-off movie in the 2005. We know the character of Elektra. And there's hardly any more Elektra storyline to pull from. I'm not interested in seeing another version of Elektra or just another storyline featuring Elektra. And I'm so happy that they did not include her in Daredevil Season 3. Just so happy. It, Electra, she just, she just doesn't work. She just doesn't work. She's, she's a character that her, all her interesting stuff comes from the people around her. So she's the lover to Matt. She's the leader of the head. And so it doesn't really make her an independent person. Nothing that interests us by herself. She has some kind of relationship that would interest us. Coming in at number six is going to be the Danny Rand Iron Fist. The problem with this Iron Fist, at the start, was it was just so whiny. He was written in a way where he had the clunkiest of dialogue to put it at the minimum. Just overall, he, he, and the actor, the actor did not know how to lead and play this character. He absolutely did not know how to play the character of Iron Fist. And that, and that kind of shows. That absolutely shows. He's just not fit enough. But then in Iron Fist Season 2, way better. The character was written in a way better way. The actor... The actor's performance went way up, not as great as some of the other actor's performance like Charlie Cox or Christian Ritter or Mike Coulter, but Finn Jones is still absolutely great up there. I can't wait to see Iron Fist Season 3 if they do make an Iron Fist Season 3. Coming in at number five is going to be Luke Cage. Now, I love Luke Cage. I absolutely do. It's just that they kind of made his character so dark and so interesting in season two that for half of season two, you're kind of not rooting for him. And that's a problem. That's a serious problem with what they're going for here. Season 2 of Luke Cage kind of just derailed the character of Luke Cage a bit. And so, I liked at the start how he was just a friendly neighborhood guy trying to help out. It's not like any other person I know. But yeah, he was just trying to help out, and I think he did really, 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 really well until they made his backstory kind of evident in episode 7 of season 1 was episode 7 it was season 1 right coming in at number 4 is going to be Jessica Jones Jessica Jones for me she's kind of a mixed bag I'm not sure how to describe her let's just say that if you were looking for someone to Kill Kilgrave, then perfect. You got Jessica Jones. Yeah, but if you're looking for an alcoholic, you know, drug type person, good. You got someone to kill Kilgrave with Jessica Jones, but they don't mess well together. And so her origin story in season two is so dark, so dramatic, so just like everything, 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 everything. They don't root for her in season two, and her origin story just goes back. 
She was good in Defenders. She was good in her season one. Hopefully, she's good in season three. Bringing us into the top three is Colleen Wing Iron Fist. I was actually enjoying Colleen Wing's character throughout Iron Fist season two, and that's what made Iron Fist season two absolutely great. Her getting the White Fist, her taking over this Iron Fist show, literally and physically. Don't those things mean the same thing? She's absolutely amazing, and I can't wait to see more of her. Coming in at number second is going to be the Punisher because the Punisher could have just been this action stereotype like, oh, you hit him and they get back up and hit him and stay down. But no, he didn't go that way. He's not. He's not Santa Claus. Oh fuck! You want to talk about Santa Claus? You want to talk about Santa Claus? I live in the real world yeah. too, and I've seen it. What have you seen? Redemption, Frank. Yeah. It's real, it's and it's possible. The people you murder deserve another chance. Want to kill again, rape again? Is it? No, Frank. To try again, Frank. To try. He's someone with layers and morality. And in Daredevil Season 2, they might not explore that as much, but you was Punisher Season 1 and you get that feeling. And that's what really pushed this character from third to second, even though there was no third at the time. There was just second. So he was, he could have been first, but just someone that was first was Daredevil. Matt Murdock, Daredevil. Charles Cox as Daredevil. Spoiler alert for season three, but Charlie Cox does a magnificent job. Like, come on, look at this. Come on, kill me. No, God knows I want to, but you don't get to destroy who I am. You will go back to prison and you will live the rest of your miserable life in a cage, knowing you'll never have Vanessa, that this city rejected you. It beat you! I beat you! You'll keep my secret. And you won't harm Karen Page or fucking Nelson or anyone else. Because if you do, I will go after your wife. And I will prove Vanessa ordered the murder of Agent Ray and Adim. And like her husband, she'll spend the rest of her life in a cell. That gives me chills. Every single... Every single time. Shut up. That gives me chills every single time because Charlie Cox is just magnificent. He was the person to play Daredevil. This... Character could have gone so wrong after the Ben Affleck character. I'm gonna kill someone. But it didn't go that way. His religious beliefs about not having to kill someone, but the level of crime in the city and the push to kill someone really elevates the character. Like, should I kill? Should I not kill? And gives this conflict. Season 3 really explores this again. Amazing acting. Just amazing acting. So Daredevil comes in number one on Heroes. Now, I am going to be doing a villains list next week on Monday, so tune in for that. 
yeah, just tune in for that next week. Also, go down and hit the subscribe button if you want to get more videos like these. You can also hit the bell icon so that you don't miss next week's video about all the villains. You know, Kingpin. I'm even going to throw Vanessa in there after season three. Bullseye's coming in there. Cotton Man, Diamond Bag, all these villains. Thanos! <laughs> So make sure you stick around. Don't forget to like this video if you did like the video or dislike the video if you dislike the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another film series. Get me done, stop. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Get the camera off, will you?